Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. And when we last left off, we did race number one, and we are heading to race number two in Dubai. Shouldn't be any rain in the forecast, should be a pretty clear race. Tire wear is very low, it says, so I'm going to take their word on it and probably practice solely on the super soft tires. Uh, medium fuel burn, that's okay, we'll fill it up at the start of the race. Engine brakes and rear wing are absolutely crucial here. And I believe our car is okay as far as the engine uh, brakes and rear wing are concerned. We're working on the improvability a bit or the reliability in between races. This episode, we also have one sponsor, slot five, gonna be right there in front of the rear tire to choose from. And we are currently working on the telemetry center at level two and repairing the car. Pit crew for this race. I tell you what, it looks like old Yabuki. We picked him up off the side of the road. Um, can you change tires? Yeah, sure. I mean, he's got decent fixing and still early in the season, we need part fixes as much as possible. And he's the best tire changer we've got from the reserve. So I'll keep him in but we may not be able to push uh, the pit crew so much. All right, car repair is done. We have three sponsors chomping at the bit. Team marketability is 100%. Maybe we should have... No, I still don't think that 72.3 would be good enough for a five-star rating, so the helipad is not necessary. Third, third, and sixth. All right, what kind of other objectives do we have? First place... 13th place we can do for three races. Do I think we can finish in sixth place or above at 650 grand per race? Um, that is, oof, 400 grand more. If we were consistent and finish sixth or above, that may be a decent payout, or we could just take the upfront payment of $1.5 million for Vamos uh, for six races. Actually, this looks to be the better deal. We could probably finish six or above in the seven races, but I like the upfront payment. It allows us to build some more parts. And once Phoenix comes around, this may be very well in our wheelhouse. We'll take the $1.5 million. And if memory serves, yeah, we are working on a gearbox. So that is all well and good. Let's make sure that they are repairing the correct things. Uh, we're working on suspension and gearbox. I'd really like the engine and brakes so we are working on those brakes there uh, let's work on these brakes there and that engine there and get maximum staff seven days after the race can we shrink that up no I don't believe we can will this throw a wrench in our works though because we are working on Falco's improvability hmm yeah, let's just continue that. Let's build up uh, Falco's car as much as we can four days after the race. This should be in a workable state so we can work on Shen's car after this race coming up. And then we're topping off the engine and the gearbox. We don't need the gearbox. Let's top off on the brakes if we can. Outstanding. That looks to be a good deal. All right, anything else that's going to... Oh, who's not feeling it? And Ib's birthday. You've got bad form. Form is won during the race for three weeks. You know what, Falco? I was feeling that. I, I, I could tell you weren't that passionate. It's Ib's birthday. Who is Ib? Oh, it's our backup driver who is on a rolling contract. Well, that's going to be easy. A card will do. <laughs> I'm not going to spend any money on our reserve backup driver. That isn't what we are all about here. All right, gearbox is finished. Do we want to work on this gearbox? I don't believe... Hmm. Are we close enough that I think... You know what? These parts are pretty close. What I'll do is I'll, from here on out, I'll start working on that gearbox. Six days before the race? Hmm. We could blast that gearbox up. 
It's not that important during the race, but I think it's very important that we get uh, this gearbox up and ready so then Shen can take this gearbox here. I think that will be worthwhile. So what I'll do then is I will take away these brakes here and focus on the performance there. One day before the race, 14 minutes after the race, can we squeeze that? 12 minutes after the race, bam, one day. So it looks like we should be able to get that all well and good. I know I'm sacrificing uh, reliability, but I think we're okay, at least for Falco's car, that we can focus solely on this gearbox and get a better part on this car. A little bit goes a long way, you know. So G Rio de Janeiro, we don't have to worry about that. Dubai, 0% chance of rain as usual. Maybe you could push some of our resources into tire heating. We're not the best cars on the grid. Well, thank you for your concern, Falco. I probably won't do a thing. All right, yep, you're fine, you're fine. All right, so it should be ready to go. There's the reliability work done. We are ready to travel to Dubai. Reliability work complete. All right, so let's fit these parts. We should have a gearbox ready to go. So indeed, uh, this gearbox will go on Falco's car. This gearbox will go on Shen's car. We'll leave that middle gearbox in the dust. And Falco's got the best parts from here on out. Yes, indeed. We'll continue to improve, but we have got an excellent gearbox. We might be even able to share uh, some of the weight off of this gearbox, which is a legitimate strategy. All right, so here we go. I don't believe we're going to finish third. Let's roll in 13th or better. And parts are fitted, so I will see you after practice. Welcome back to Dubai. Practice is done, and it was a very good practice indeed. Number one and two on the charts. Level threes on the super softs and race trim. Of course, Shen is going to burn through those super soft tires very quickly, so we're counting on her overall speed to sort of make up for it, but a perfect six for six. Excellent on the car setup. Really, really happy about that. We've got them pushing for now, so let's see how we do. Shen is starting in 11th, Falco starting in 14th as for the inverted rule points. But Falco is going to be in low form, I believe. Um, it said he was going to start the next three weeks at level one as far as the form goes, so we will see. Really bad bottlenecking up here at the front of the pack. Falco bobbing and weaving, trying to get by. We filled up the fuel tank as far as it will go so we don't have to wait on fuel. I think that is a pretty legitimate strategy. There goes Falco around the outside of his teammate Shen. Let's see how Falco can do here with a little bit of aggressive engine. Three wide pushing Shen to the outside. These car setups should be okay. Falco's got that inside line and through he goes. Put him up to 10th, F Shen fighting back in 15th. All right, so tires are starting to come in. Let's just do a neutral. Uh, the tire heating is going to be pretty extreme. They won't wear so much, but the heating we really have to keep down. Uh, we don't want to melt them off the car. We have plenty of fuel, uh, 28 laps, so we only have to put in fuel one time and that should be good enough. As far as tire changes though, we wanna keep them nice and quick. Uh, think Formula One where there is no refueling, how quick those tire changes are, and we want to be just as fast if we possibly can. So Falco is holding on to that sponsor objective of 13th. I'm kinda of glad I didn't pick the higher, more ambitious sponsor objective, but then again, uh, we still have pit stops to do, so Oh, looking at tire wear, it doesn't look like Shin is abusing her tires as much. Uh, this race or Falco is really taking care of or burning through his, one of the two. So we're, we're holding our own. We're holding middle station. Um, it's not going to be too awful bad. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of opportunity to pass here, especially when that happens. It looks like Falco uh, just gets caught up behind uh, the car in front of him, Souza and he can't get around. He is blatantly faster, much, much faster. He needs clear track in order to get around him, but 
Falco chooses not to, but he is in excellent form, and actually so is Shen. They're both feeling it, so I don't know what that whole not feeling it is about. Either that or his, uh, his feeling it is going to drop to one by the end of the race. I hope it doesn't, though. I hope they didn't code that in. It's like, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea that if a driver just wasn't feeling it and then they forgot to actually put it in the code, that would be pretty cool. There you go, Falco. Make some aggressive moves there. Tires are getting a little bit cooked. Let's scale back down to a conserve mode here. We don't want to boil the tires off. And I think our pace should be good enough to hang on. I think Falco's biggest enemy is traffic. If he could get into some clean air, that would be fine. And Souza is giving him a hard road to hold, that is for sure. But we're within shouting distance of the leader still, as far as a pit stop is concerned. And see, why, Falco, why can't you do that? Why can't you just go around and then push the button and go? So we're sort of hanging on. Shen's tires are crying out in pain. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I don't know exactly what lap we are going to be pitting on, but we look to be falling back just a touch. Let's push them just a few laps more. It looks like Shen will be pitting first just gauge on this strategy uh, this is the one quarter mark of the race I don't know if we can make this into thirds so we need to go to lap 9 or so to cut this into a two stop race if we can go to lap 10 that would be even better I think that's what we will do here well geez Falco why don't you just pull over and let him go all right, so I'll push Shen for one more lap after this race, or after this stint, and then have her pit next time by. And then Falco, I'll have him pit next, well, not the next time around, but you know what I mean. All right, Shen, pit next time for some fresh super softs. 19 laps to go. Do we put the fuel in now? I think we do. We'll, we'll put in just a touch more fuel. Parts are looking okay, and we do not want to risk. For two seconds, I don't think we want to risk it with these guys. So that should be okay. Yes, you can get past Souza Falco. I believe in you. All you need to do is do something like that. There you go. Push their inside. Make them work for it. So it looks like this guy in front of Falco is pitting. If he can get around him, all the better. Shin is struggling to catch up, but she's burning off her tires. That's fine. She's coming down to pit road this time. We'll keep an eye out on Falco. Have him pit next time by for some fresh tires. 18 laps. We'll go ahead and top off to 20 as well. And that should be our last fuel stop of the day. Let's go ahead and have him attack everything you've got this lap, Falco. There we go. And Shen is down and away, a clean pit stop. We'll have her keep on pushing just for a bit here. Riku Tanaka is crashed in sector one. That's going to be an easy spot for Shen to make up for show. And here comes Falco down right behind fifth. Looks to be pitting this time. We'll put him down to a push situation now. And Shen should be screaming around. There is the fuel in and done. And Falco should be set for the rest of the race. And there is Shen battling hard. So our team cars come out pretty well even, which is good. And Falco is still in an excellent form. We're waiting on these leaders to pit. Hopefully he's got some clean track to really make uh, some good advantage of this. Giuliani is struggling on those old tires. We look to be pitting at lap 20. Kellier is pitting and repairing, which is good for us. We should make short work of him on pit road. And there we go, up into the transfer spot of 13th. And Shen looks almost to be burning up these tires. And let's scale back Falco down as well. Considering the cars around us, um, our tires are in pretty good shape. It does look like uh, we'll be okay on super softs. And it's as fast as we can possibly go, that is for sure. Another car on pit road here. We may get into the top 10. 
and just three cars are left to pit. We're 23 seconds behind. And we're right flirting on that edge of boiling the tires off. We'll scale back to a conserve and just sort of ride here. If we can make some better moves, that would be awesome. So we're holding fast here until 10 laps to go. And then we'll see what our park conditions are like. The engine on Shen's car and the suspension is okay. Looks like Falco, we might be actually able to turn up on the last stint. We may be able to really uh, do some burning here as far as the passing zone goes. We may have been able to, uh, to squeak out a little bit as far as that sponsor objective is concerned. Blasi needs to get out of my way. Well, turn up your tires just a little bit if you please. We can't afford to do that to Falco, but Shen just needs to uh, keep in touch here with the cars around her, and it looks like she will. Uh, her, her tires are the worst of everyone around her, which is to be expected with Shen. No, you don't have an issue just yet. Just ride what you got, Shen, please. So Falco holding station strong here in ninth with eighth right in front of us. We're within shouting distance of the leaders as far as pit stops are concerned, and we don't have to fuel up this time. So we should save a ton of time on pit road as far as fueling goes, and there goes Falco with a beautiful boost. That is what I'm talking about, Falco. Just drive away if you please. Matter of fact, go to a neutral and keep your tires right on the cusp. So four laps to go. We may be able to push Falco a little bit more as far as the tires are concerned, this stint. Or if we wanted to, we could really uh, drive Falco deep into this run, hit him with fewer than 10 laps to go, and really push as hard as we can for, um, for that last segment. So Shen is needing some tender loving care here. Her tires need to last three more laps or so, and I don't know if they can do it. And I would hate to put Shen on just regular soft tires because we didn't really practice with soft tires. We'll see what happens here. Nope, we don't need to look at the brakes. Oh crap, we need to look at the brakes. Falco, please just ride them out. Do what you do best. I mean, we're doing excellent as far as tire wear and our pace is concerned. Let's go ahead and push just a little bit. But Shin will be looking to pit soon. These guys are all on her rear end. But, but seriously, she's trying to get, uh, get past, which is not good. 10 laps to go. I think we are within a window to push the tires. So this time, let's go ahead and go for broke with Shen. Yes, you can get past Amura, but you are pitting this time. We need that performance increase. Or do we go softs? We lose the performance increase, but we're guaranteed to finish the race. I think with Shen, we, we have to do it. We are good on fuel. We don't need to look at that. An engine, 18 seconds. We might as well flush it down the toilet. Eight seconds, eight seconds. Oh, it sucks we can only repair one part at a time. That engine is looking bad. An 18 second pit stop. Dewey Gamble, 10 laps, 23%. Uh, this is where it comes down to it, man. Can we do a fast pit stop? It's a low risk. We can shave five seconds off. Let's try it. We have to make sure that Shen finishes this race. We have a couple others still repairing. So we just need to get that done. I know you're churning through the tires. Falco, I need you to do one more lap. Push as hard as you can this time and pit next time by for your last super softs. Eight laps. Fuel is good. Break seven seconds. I think we need to hold on as much as we can. A two second pit stop with a low risk. Oh, it's two either way. Then we will take a nice balanced pit stop if you please. Yeah, I don't want to risk 
pitting like that. So here goes Shen on pit road. Hopefully the repairs will be done by the time uh, Falco gets around. Repairing the engine, there, there was a mistake. She's gonna exit 18th. Shen, I need you to go. <laughs> I just need you to go, please. Maybe go with a high engine burn. And here comes Falco down on pit road with the leaders. It will be a quick tire change. Tires are on, down and away. Let's just hold what we got here. Falco is down and away. The ride is screwed, guys. What's wrong with the suspension? Well, there's a whole lot wrong with the suspension, Shen. You really don't want to know. All right, let's go medium on that. We don't want to break the suspension, and we're holding fine as far as our tire wear is concerned. Hopefully some more will pit and repair. That's the ultimate goal. Falco should be coming quick. Guys are on pit road. We'll be making some passes here. We've, we're sniffing that top group. Indeed. There's a guy in front of us who's about to break. We'll go to a neutral tire burn. Keep those tires under us. Falco does have a car lap down. And even Shen is making up some spots. Don't burn through them just yet, Shen. She could probably hold that neutral tire for sure. Holy crap, what's this 19th place guy doing? Nice. Making up spots on pit road, really pressuring third place who's about to break. And on old tires, there goes Falco. Get around him, Falco. That is what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, uh, you can conserve for now. Nope. Tell you what, Falco, you don't need it. Just do a low. We don't even need the engine power. We have made our last stop of the day. We can coast. I know we're in the red zone, but we need to bring this back. So Falco is about broken, but two seconds behind the leader. One is probably going to pit again. I tell you, this is a precarious situation. As long as he can block and hold off uh, the guys around him, he'll be okay. So Shin is at 70% tire. She should be okay to last the race in 15th. She should be making good moves on Taylor. Falco is really where I'm focusing. Four laps to go. Yes, you can. All right, we're going to have to go to medium. I know your tire temperatures are high, but you can do it. Let's go ahead and go neutral then. Don't lose touch with these leaders. Olin has, I know there's enough fuel for you to spare, but you're almost to the red zone. Let's go ahead and turn up Shen on the engine. And with three laps to go, do we push the brakes? I think with two to go, we push. Yep, you can turn up the engine mode next time there, Falco. Go ahead and push the tires though. You can get it. There you go, Falco, make some moves. And you just hold that right there. And with two laps to go, Falco, here's what you're gonna do. Go full overtake mode. No, you don't need to stop pushing. There's only two laps to go. You are right there in the middle of it. Fight hard, Falco. Eat my dust, Wakana, ha ha. All right, tire deg is up. Let's just have him push, but we'll keep the engine up. 10%, oof, let's just go high. I mean, he's right there on the leader. The last half lap or so, we'll, we'll push him. House parts looking 10%. It only chewed through 6% last time. Go get Olin, Falco. Now's the time. Overtake, blast him. Give me everything you got this last lap, Falco, please. We could be happy with a second. But we're going to do every thing we can. Last corner. Boost, Falco, boost. Get out of there. Yes! Pass for the win. That is awesome. Shen, overtake. Get everything you can in this last corner, if you please. Pass for 14th. Outstanding. We are doing better than this, Shen. 
It's just your tires aren't. But Falco is doing amazing. I don't know what you are even talking about. Who? what a race. A last lap, last corner pass with just a little bit of brake to spare. So I'm going to have to work on that brake reliability for sure. But I am happy with that. Yeah, Olin, he had the fresher tires. He pitted later than us, but I am not upset at all. Hopefully some people broke some rules and got, uh, got Shen up there. Nope, 14th. So, man, I didn't think we had a shot to win. Maybe in the next race I do pick a third place because that was pretty good. A 13 position change, 17 for Lars. So, once again, Lars Olin is our main competition. Falco is four points behind Omura and Olin. And we are still fourth in the constructors, only one point out of third behind Marshall. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I have painted my bedroom the same colors as your car. The other half's not happy, lol. Well, thank you, Jack Elliott. I have not painted my bedroom the colors of my team, but to each their own. Ooh, what a race. I wasn't planning on that, but it is always good to get that win out of the way and looking pretty strong. I mean, that was a pass for the win on Olin, and we were not able to do that last year. It was always a pit strategy that got us in there. So that, that was a good race. Um, we'll have to definitely look at our pit crew, though. I'm sure doing those risky pit stops tired them out, and apparently three weeks rest is not enough. Otherwise, you just uh, break into a million pieces. So come on, loading screen. What's taking so long? Are, are you in disbelief that Falco won a race? I mean, I feel you. It's the second race of the season, and we got a trophy. But come on, man. I heard a click. You're ready to load. I know you are. Let's do it. Come on. I believe in you. One foot in front of the other. Let's go. There you go. So Shen's morale up 16%. How did her bars do? Uh, fairly well. She's almost uh, to 11 in cornering. She's work she needs to work on that smoothness and consistency. She's doing well everywhere else. This whole form of, you know, oh, I'm not just not feeling it. Well, you can just put that baby to bed right now because look at you, 8.9 form. And, of course, our chairman is happy as well as he should be. We gave up a little bit of money there. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of stock in our finishing position, but maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. We'll have to look at Germany and see what it thinks is important Acceleration, medium speed corners, and top speed. Well, we built a brand new gearbox. Our gearboxes should be good. Tire wear and fuel is very low burn, so the soft tires should be good. And if I can get Falco to the soft tires wear more slowly, I think that would be really, really good. Okay, let's do it. Car condition, do an interview. Let me guess, it's negative. Shin says your car sucks. Uh, you're interested in signing P.O. Paris. Who wouldn't want P.O. Paris? Well, he's terrible consistency and terrible feedback, terrible adaptability. I'm not going to sign him. All right. Let's take a look at our pit crew. Yeah, Nakasuji is absolutely knackered. We're going to have to get him on the bench. And Yabuki, you're going to need to go too, bro. Um, as far as the car is concerned, we, we, we should th start thinking about improving our lowest reliability parts so we don't have to repair them. But there we go. We win top honors in Dubai, and that's going to do it for me in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen of Motorsport Manager, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you for the next race in Germany. Take care.